Hi everyone, welcome to Sierra College. We're excited to have you guys as students. My name is Robert Hoyle. I'm a librarian at Sierra College, and this video is gonna be going over a short introduction to the Sierra College Library and how it can help you succeed in your college career. We've got a ton of useful online and in-person services that we'll be talking about today. How do you can connect with help? I'm gonna to return to that a bunch of times throughout the video today and you'll get an opportunity at the end to reflect on what you've learned. Let's get started. All right, you'll see that I have a bunch of links here in the PowerPoint presentation, and don't worry too much about these. You're gonna be able to get access to all of these uh, links because I'm gonna send this presentation to your instructor and they will be able to give you access to it. So any of these things that I'm talking about if you're wondering how can I get this um, on my own or I didn't see the link in the video, you'll have the PowerPoint to yourself so that you can click on all these links. And I'll show you where you can find them from the library homepage. All right, so what does the library offer students? You can borrow and access free resources such as textbooks, books or eBooks and videos. Those are available online and in person. You can get research help through either our chat service, email, one-on-one -on -one research appointments, and research guides that are geared towards specific subjects and classes. We have study spaces available in the library, tons of computers. We have silent study room, silent study areas, and group study rooms that are reservable. And the library building itself has the tutoring math and writing center where you can get free tutoring support both in person and via Zoom. Some of our in-person library services are available at any of the Sierra College campuses. So it's important to remember that no matter which campus you're working on or if you're mainly taking online classes, you can head to your nearest campus and be able to access the resources there. We have the Rockland campus, the Nevada County campus, and the Tahoe Truckee campus. And the hours there are all listed. In person, you can borrow tech, borrow books and technology, use computers, access those silent and group study spaces, and get access to free Wi-Fi. Some of our online resources um, include the library homepage, which I will show you how to access. You can get there by highlighting academics and scrolling down to library or highlighting student services and selecting library from any Sierra College webpage. You can also click the link here in this PowerPoint presentation. You can access online resources, eBooks, articles, videos, and more, anything you could need for your research purposes. Um, we will happily help you to get access to it. We can help you with citations. A lot of professors ask students to create annotated bibliographies. You'll need to do some citation when you work on research projects and librarians are happy to help you with that as well. We have library FAQs. Those are available on the library website that help answer some questions that you might have, but you might not feel comfortable asking a librarian. A lot of them are already answered in the FAQs. And then connecting with help I think this is the most valuable resource that you get access to as a student at Sierra College. We have a 24-7 live chat service. We have email for the library, one-on-one -on -one research appointments, which are my personal favorite, but I'm also a little bit biased. Um, I think I speak for all of the librarians here when I say that we love working with students, especially in these one-on-one -on -one research consultations. We can help students at any stage of the research process. If you're just getting started, you're not sure what you want to write your paper about or do your speech about, we can help you pick a topic. If you already picked a topic, but you need help brainstorming ideas or finding articles for it, we are happy to help you with that stage of the process. If you've already written your paper, you found a bunch of great sources and you need help making sure that your citations are all correct, we can help you with that stage of the process. So I think what I wanna get across here is that 
we are here to help you guys with anything that you could think of asking and it, we will do our best to make sure that you succeed in your assignment. On the right hand side, you can see some of the uh, resources that you'll have access to from the library homepage. This tab is what you'll see on the left hand side when you're on the library homepage. And this start exploring tab is where you're going to be able to try typing in keywords when you're getting when you're ready to get started with your research. And just because I'm going to mention it as many times as possible, you can request help by working one on one with a librarian. And this is what that button looks like on the library homepage. All right. I'm going to switch over to the library homepage and give you a brief tour. All right. So now we're here on the library homepage. And again, you can get here by either clicking on that link from the PowerPoint presentation. You can Google Sierra College Library and will be one of the first couple of options. You can also highlight academics here from any Sierra College web page and find library there or go to Sierra student services and you'll find library there. Once you're here, this will be kind of your hub for getting access to all of your resources. You can click on any of these links on the left hand side to either get in touch with a librarian. You can learn more about how to borrow books and how to borrow other materials, library hours. Um, these links on the left are kind of your main navigating area. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you can see more about how to get access to some of those online resources, such as research guides, which are aimed at specific courses or subjects, uh, depending on what you might be working on. We often have research guides aimed at a specific class that you might be taking. We have research databases and the databases are basically the repository for all the information that the library has for when you're doing your research. It can be anything from scholarly research articles to newspapers to um, videos, images, anything like that that you might be using for research. You can book study rooms um, and learn more about library policies or get questions answered that you might not feel like asking a person over email. You can do that in the FAQs. And you can get academic help from the tutoring center um, here with this button down here as well. Let's do a quick look at how to make a research appointment, because I, again, think this is your most valuable tool. Um, and we love to work with, with students one on one. So I just want to show you where you can actually see that. All right, so we're here. When we scroll down a little bit, if you click schedule a consultation, this is going to be where you make a one on one research appointment. And again, we are happy to help you guys with any stage of the research process. I know I've mentioned this so many times, but that's really what I want to be the main takeaway from today's um, video, just that we are a place where you can come and get your questions answered. You know, if you're, you're new starting college and you are looking for a place to help or you want to ask questions, I would love for the library to be the place that you go when you know that uh, you need help. So if we go back to the presentation really quick, just to finish up, I want to give you guys an opportunity to reflect on what you learned today. Um, this QR code or using the link here in the PowerPoint presentation will let you um, talk a little bit about what you learned today um, and what resources you might use in the future. When you pull it up, you're going to be taken to Padlet. You can just answer the question and I'm happy to see your guys' feedback um, because it helps me know what resources seem valuable to you um, and how we can offer things that are helpful to you in the future. All right. Thank you for your time today and good luck in your courses. Bye-bye.